paradise, bachelors, paradise, bachelors, paradise. Come on, a bachelors, a paradise, a bachelors, paradise, bachelors, paradise. Come on, Bachelors Paradise, starring Eric Pierce as Robert Turner and Matthew Letty as Cornelius Crane, created by Ivan Asen. Time, 1950s. Place, rural New England. Setting, a one-room cabin. Think Henry David Thoreau. Episode 3. Shaken down, not stirred up. It's nighttime. The cabin is empty. We hear footsteps trudging through the snow. Barging through the door is Cornelius Crane and Carlotta. Jeepers, this place is creepy. Not to worry, my dear. I'll protect you. I crew. I can't believe you live out here all by your lonesome. I'm not lonesome. I have you. Yeah, but on other nights... Carlotta, you keep me company every night I'm here. But we only met today. Yes, that's true. We only met today physically, but spiritually I've known you all my life. Wow, where's that from? I believe it was Harry Houdini. The magician? Yes, the magician. I love magic. Do you know any tricks? Carlotta, I have a bag of tricks just for you. Can you show me one? Of course. Let me just put a fire on. You sit down, have some whiskey. It'll warm you up. Cornelius hands her a flask and she downs the whiskey. (sighs) I see you have amazing throat muscles. That'll come in handy for the trick. Okay, Cornelius, you can make a fire. You've seen enough television to do anything. I can use these textbook pages as kindling. I'm sure Robert won't mind. Now I just need to light it all with my sterling gold lighter from Brooks Brothers. Well, that was easy as cherry pie. Speaking of cherry pie, oh Carlotta, I'm ready to show you that magic trick. Carlotta, let me ask you, what's the warmest, softest, smoothest object you've ever touched? Carlotta? Carlotta, are you up? Wake up, Carlotta. This isn't candid camera. Wake up. She must have passed out from the whiskey. Now, this begs the question, do I cop an innocent feel? I mean, they're only bosoms. What's the difference between squeezing a breast and squeezing a hand? Lactation? Is that what makes it a faux pas? If hands lactated, could we not shake hands so freely? I wish Robert was here. I could blame him for all of this. He has very beady eyes and terrible eczema, which makes him the perfect combination for scapegoating under any cardinal circumstance. Cornelius sticks out his hand and grabs Carlotta's left breast. This brassiere is extremely pointy. God, what we men can get away with. I hope things never change. The door flies open and Robert stands there, aghast at the sight of his friend molesting Carlotta's left memory. Cornelius Crane the Sixteenth, why are you molesting that young woman's left memory? I'm copying her left memory. You want to cop the other one? No, I don't want to cop the other one. Why not? I'm sure the right is as nice as the left. This isn't Congress, Robert. These breasts are bipartisan. Let go of her bosom immediately. My hand has a mind of its own. It's like I'm hanging off a cliff. I can't just let go. What you're doing is illegal. Let's think of that philosophically, Robert. What is legal, what isn't legal? I think it was Harry Houdini who said, If it feels great, it must be legal. Harry Houdini didn't say, If it feels great, it must be legal. Robert, do you even know the first thing about magicians? Cornelius, if you don't remove your hand, I will have to remove it myself. Robert, you know I crew. There's no way you can take me. You were on crew for a day. I didn't know we had to wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. If I did, I wouldn't have even done it in the first place. Cornelius, I'm not joking. Robert, you always say I'm greedy and spoiled to the core. Well, I'm offering to share. Let go, you big ape. I can't. It's Darwinism. What's going on? Nothing. I was just showing my dear friend Robert a magic trick. And that is how you make someone levitate. Were you just getting fresh with me? Fresh? (laughs) No, I wasn't being fresh. I was being a complete gentleman, like uh, James Bond or Bing Cosby. I mean, Crosby. 
Pardon me, aren't you Dean Andrews's daughter, Carlotta? That's correct. I am Carlotta Andrews. And who might you be? I'd rather not answer that. His name is Robert Turner, my former roommate, collegiate best friend, and forest-dwelling confidant. Robert Turner, this is Carlotta Andrews, Dean Andrews' lovely daughter, who on occasion likes to levitate, and while levitating goes into a deep trance which makes her think she passed out from whiskey. I didn't pass out from the whiskey. Yeah, too much aspirin, then? I have narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. That explains why you were dozing off during dinner. I thought you were just bored by me talking about myself. <laughs> That's a relief. Yes, it is a relief, Cornelius, that nothing memorable took place tonight in my cabin. My chest hurts. Hurts? Hurts how? Like it's raw or something. Ah, it's probably from rowing. Rowing? Yes, don't you remember? I mentioned how I crew, and you mentioned how you canoe, and that we both get sore in the chest area. It really is an intense exercise. I don't canoe, and I don't remember saying that. Yeah, short-term memory loss is a symptom of narcolepsy. Short-term memory loss is not a symptom of narcolepsy. Well, you've probably forgotten the symptoms because of the narcolepsy. It's not a symptom. I assure you it is. My father, Dr. Cornelius Oxford Crane, XV, MD, is a very prominent physician. He actually is experimenting with a new cosmetic treatment where he injects bacteria into the faces of older women to give them back their sense of dignity which they lost since their youth. I thought you were cool, Cornelius, but you're nothing but a two-bit hustler. Hustler? Hustler, Robert, did you hear what I was just accused of being? Yes, I did. Carlotta, how about I take you back home? You seem like a nice one. He's a very nice one. Zip it, Cornelius. Totally zipped. But I want something first. If I have it, I will give it to you. I want $50. $50? Yes, and I want it now. I don't have $50 on me, and what do you need $50 for? I like money. I like the way it smells, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, and most importantly, I like fur. I've been learning to hunt. I can kill you a family of squirrels and make a stole for you. No. I like the good stuff. $50 won't buy you the good stuff. That's because it's $50 tonight and $20 a week for the next year. Oh, so you're going the layaway plan. Well, I don't have $50, but I know who does. Cornelius, you can unzip it. $50 for what? For taking you to a nice Italian dinner and showing you my country estate in the woods? This isn't gratitude, Carlotta. All you're doing is taking advantage of me and my hospitality. And I'm not some hustler, like you said. I have feelings. But most importantly, I have a soul. You either pay up, or I can tell my father that Cornelius Oxford Crane, XVI, and his sidekick, Robert Turner, violated me. Violated? That's right. Violated. Pay her, Cornelius. I only have 40. You usually have more than that. Dinner was expensive. We had this Dago wine. Mmm. Great vintage. We can go there for your birthday, Robert. Thank you. I'll pay the rest. Let me just get it. Here you go. And here's the rest. You know, I thought we had a good time. I just made $50. I had a great time. And I'll be having 52 great more. Carlotta. Yes, Cornelius? Do you want me to walk you home? No, thank you. I already have an escort. Who, me? Not you, Robert. Darlene. Darlene? Hello, Cornelius. Remember me? And if it isn't sweet, Robert... Cornelius' spine. Hey, I'm way taller than he is. Oh, Cornelius, now do you see what goes around comes around? No. Well, it does. So you're telling me you set up Cornelius for a little bit of money and sweet revenge? And to show him that the next time he's out at a date, who knows what can happen. It can go badly or it can go swell, but he'll always be guessing. Let's go back to campus, Carlotta. The shack is giving me the willies. Do you girls need an escort? There's a family of squirrels out there, and I happen to crew. We have a snowmobile, but thanks. I don't want a snowmobile. My pinky toe's been frostbitten for days. I can't believe it. Darlene's still in love with me, and Carlotta's falling for me. We were just robbed by Darlene and Carlotta. Don't be so blue, Robert. My pinky toe is blue. You know... You really shit the bed this time, Cornelius. But look at the golden lining. 
golden lining? Yes, Robert, golden lining. You mean silver lining? No, I mean golden lining, Robert. You know I like the good stuff. Okay, then, what's the golden lining? I massage the dean's daughter's left breast. Cornelius. Yes, Robert? You owe me ten dollars. How about I just take you to dinner tomorrow night? You want Chinaman or Italian? The Bachelor's Paradise. The Bachelor's Paradise. Bachelor's Paradise. Come on! Written, directed, and produced by Ivan Asen. Guest starring Rachel Amanda Bryant as Carlotta Andrews and Darlene. And narrated by me, George Letty. Tonight's episode was sponsored by Gerhard Asprin. Gerhard Asprin, the above all remedy. And by the makers of Happy Pills. Happy Pills, laugh your way through life. This has been a Letty Set Go production.